Welcome to our financial prelude segment, where we dive into the latest buzz from the market. Pharma Major Lupin Limited has received approval from the U.S. health regulator to market its generic Menzoya tablets used to prevent pregnancy. Shares of Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation have been on a downward trend in February after a notable increase of over 10% in January. Analysts at Prabhudas Lilita foresee a decline in the stock over the next year, giving it a hold call with a target of 825 rupees, suggesting a downside of over 13%. Payton Payments Bank has lost NHAI authorization for issuing FAS tags. The Indian Highways Management Company Limited, the toll collecting arm of NHAI, has advised highway users to buy FAS tags from 32 authorized banks, excluding Payton Payments Bank, for hassle free travel. M&M share price has surged over 5% to a record high following a supply deal with Volkswagen. Natco Pharma shares have seen a significant jump of over 13% after raising its profit guidance for FY24. Bajaj Auto shares have reached a life high as shareholders approve Rs 4000 crore buyback. Stay tuned as we unravel more exciting financial updates in our main segment. Aegis Logistics Limited has declared its second interim dividend of 2 rupees per share. The payment is scheduled on or before the 15th of March. The record date for this dividend is set for the 23rd of February 2024. Bharat Bijle Limited has approved a stock split from 10 rupees to 5 rupees in the ratio of 1 is to 2. The record date for this split will be intimated later. Manorama Industries Limited has announced a record date for a stock split from 10 rupees to 2 rupees in the ratio of 1 is to 5. The record date is the 8th of March 2024. Orbit Exports Limited is initiating a buyback at 250 rupees through a tender offer period from 20th to the 26th of February. South Indian Bank Limited is planning a rights issue for an amount not exceeding 1,750 crore. Various matters in connection with the rights issue will be considered on the 21st of February. Ultracab, India, Limited is considering raising funds, including a rights issue of equity shares, along with various instruments on the 20th of February. Dipna Pharmacium Limited has announced its rights issue period from the 26th of February to the 7th of March, with the last date for market renunciation set for the 4th of March. Sharonam Infra Project and Trading Limited has received intimation of trading approval for rights issue by the exchange. And Bridge Securities Limited has received intimation of in principle approval from the exchange for its rights issue. Stay tuned for more updates on these developments in the financial world. Don't forget to like and subscribe for further updates on our channel. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like, subscribe, press the bell icon and never miss an update. Share and comment your thoughts on the comment section. And stay tuned with Corporate Actions India.